first up on this list is Subanan, right? Sumbanan, Sumbanan, or root word is Sumban. And it just means like the model or the basis off of something, right? You're going to base something off of just something or um, like the reference point of something, right? The, the basis of something, the pattern of something, the model of something, right? You're just going to base it off of that. And that is just, that is what's called sumbanan. It's like you're the basis of something or the reference point, the reference point of something. And you can use this to, to describe, you know, like, um, like the basis of concepts of life, of just anything in general, right? Sumbanan. It's just like something that you refer something to, um, whether you're going to have like your pattern or like if you're going to make designs, you have a home pattern or some sort of like basic pattern. And that basic pattern is what you're going to make copies out of that, that base, that original one is sumbanan, right? It's what you're basing it off of something that you're just basing something off of. Uh, gawi, right? Gawi is lihok, costumbre, or batasan, right? I don't need to explain those. Anyag, guapo o guapa. Yeah, it's like beautiful, right? Halang, da, uh, oops, sorry. Halang don, sorry. It's that al infix, right? Remember that al or la infix, that al or la, just depending on the dialect. But halang don is someone who is respectable. A person of high regard or high high honor, you know, um, uh, an honorable person, a respectable person, right? Usually these people are like in a ruling political um, a political class or something like that. Halang um, don. It's just a respectable, high, honorable person. Nahanao is wala, right? Wala. So something that just vanished or disappeared, you know, out of boom. It just out of, it just disappeared. It's not there anymore. It doesn't exist. Uh Kasilag, right? Silag is the root word meaning hatred, right? Hatred, or it's like you're enraged by by envy, or like your your anger is just um like it's 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 just like fume uh, fuming anger, something like that, right? Or anger that's just been built up, hatred, like this 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 sense of hatred and anger that's just fueled in you, and you're enraged, and you're just I don't know, you're just really just angry. Um, so similar words could be like suko or isog, you know, those kind of words, right? Um, lunok is a is the whatever was left over from a coconut being boiled, like the, the liquid of a coconut, whether it's the coconut oil, coconut milk, coconut products that you just boil it, right? Whatever it was boiled and cooked after you're done cooking it, whatever was um, not evaporated and left over, it's that residue, right? The dregs the residue or the dregs after cooking the coconut. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's like coconut milk, coconut oil, coconut water, whatever what was boiled over, it's just coconut residue, the solid clumps or whatever that's just left over. Uh, manaigon, right? Manaigon is the next one from the verb daigon, which just means to sing carols on Christmas time, or like go Christmas caroling. Carols for Christmas, right? Um, daigon is that root word. Uh, and then also, if the conjugated word doesn't come with the root word, I'll tell you the root word. Um, unless it's obvious, then I won't tell you. So, like, for this next example, it's obvious. Nagkahiusa, nagkahiusa means, like, to, to unite something into one, to unite, to consolidate, to merge things together as one, to unite um, as one thing. Hinaot is to have hope for something. And finally, we have pugsa, which root word is pugos. Right, pugos, and it's to force someone to do something. 